What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So we're gonna start the video off with some Blaze pizza. I showed you what I got. Um, this is basically the barbecue chicken pizza um, with some modifications on the bottom. I add some white sauce. Um, on top we got the chicken, the barbecue sauce obviously, some red onion, arugula, spinach, banana peppers. I think I said everything. And just like always, Blaze never fails. I love Blaze because it's a personal pie. It has good macros. You can eat a whole pie. So I prefer to eat a whole pie and get like one slice. It's just more satisfying, kind of like eating a whole pint of Halo Top as opposed to like a quarter of a serving of Ben and Jerry's. Um, so something that I realized about the internet, it doesn't apply that much to these videos because not that many people actually watch them. But every time I make a post on Instagram involving food, there's always all these comments that I was not anticipating. So I made a post about pizza a little while ago, and people thought that there were pineapples on the picture. There weren't even pineapples on the picture. People just thought they were, and the internet went crazy. People went absolutely insane and got so offended that there were pineapples on the pizza. So I didn't see that coming. Um, whenever I post any kind of picture with like meat, there's all the vegans and vegetarians that come in trying to convert everyone into veganism so something I learned about social media and the internet whenever it comes to food people are very passionate about certain things and you don't even realize it until it's too late so I'm gonna finish up this blaze pizza it's delicious then I'm gonna take you through the workout I'm gonna discuss my new routine just a little bit and then after the workout I mean, after this, I'm going to be eating uh, the new pumpkin pie flavored Halo Top. But since you guys are a little annoyed with all my videos having Halo Top, if you want to see that, you can watch it after the workout where I'll show it. And if you don't want to watch that, then let's get to the workout now and you could stop watching after that. What's up, guys? Welcome to the workout footage. So I walked into the gym on this workout to a nice little surprise. As you can see, we got this new bench. And what it does is it goes forward and back so essentially you'll see when I use it going forward you unrack the weight um, in front of you rather than behind you so it's kind of like the machine gives you a lift off which is kind of nice because I never like that when you don't have a spotter you kind of have to unrack the weight from behind you which puts some pressure on your shoulders and I, that's really the part that always bothers my shoulder so here you see it's a little weird you have to get used to it you basically pull it forward first then you want to rack it, and then it's basically a normal bench after that. So I thought it was pretty cool. They also have one for incline, and they have one for a seated military press. It does take some getting used to, but you'll, I mean, you'll see again here on this set, rather than have to unrack it and then pull it forward, you're pulling it forward and then unracking it. So it definitely felt awkward for the first few sets. It's kind of one of those things where you don't like change, and then when you first start doing it, you don't really like it. But it's definitely safer, and it definitely, once you get used to it, I can see it being beneficial. The only thing is they only got one of them, so if someone's using this bench, now I'm going to have to pray that this bench is empty, which I don't like having to hope that a specific piece of equipment is available, but so be it. Um, so anyway, this is the first workout on my new routine. I would like to give my routine a name uh, after my, basically my last name, Fau, it's P-F-A-U. I feel like if the abbreviation would lend itself well to the name of a routine. I just haven't put the words together. So if anyone has any, any ideas like power, frequency, adaptive, I don't know. So if someone could think of a cool routine with my last name, that'd be kind of cool. Um, so essentially the reason I stopped 5 through one other than being bored, um, I said in my last review of 5 through one that I felt like there's a couple things wrong with it. Um, there's not enough volume which you could, I corrected by adding um, some extra dro uh, drop sets and back down sets. So that wasn't a big deal. But besides the, the volume, I felt like the progression on the actual 5-3-1 itself, I felt like the percentages were not uh, high enough, closer to my max, and there weren't enough of them. So what I mean is on the first week of 5 through one you'd be doing 65% for five reps. That's absolutely nothing. So the first set's basically a warm-up set. Set two you're doing 75% for five reps. It's a little better than set one, but it's still kind of like a warm-up set. And then 85% is your AMRAP set, which is really the only set that is kind of challenging. And then I go into the back down set. So 85% is the highest you go on week one. So week one is the lightest week. However, the same thing kind of applies to all the weeks, but the first two sets are pretty light. 
and they're really essentially warm-up sets. And what I found was I already know that by only doing each of the main lifts once per week, I probably wasn't going to really be getting that stronger anymore. And I wasn't really willing to start doing each of the main lifts twice per week just because I don't enjoy training that way. So I thought that if I really wanted to start getting stronger while only doing the lifts once per week, what I would need to start doing at least would be to be lifting heavier in those uh, on the sets where I'm actually doing my main lift. So well, the first main change is I'm not doing I'm doing five sets each week with a back down set. So six total sets. The first five sets they are all straight sets at the exact same weight. I don't want to get into the percentages right now because it might change. I'm just kind of experimenting. I don't want people to start trying to run this when I barely even ran it myself. But basically, the percentages are going to be, um, it's never going to go lower than 85%, uh, which is actually the top set on week one of five through one. So the percentages will never go lower than 85%. And all of the sets will be at the same weight, followed by one back down set at the end where I do 10 reps um, with lighter weight. Um, and further, the each re each set I'll either be doing three reps or t one to three reps. So there's no more sets, no more AM reps on most of the weeks. I'll really typically be doing one to three reps on each of the sets. And I, I think you'll see later on, not every week, but I think there'll be an AM rep set at the end of each cycle, which I believe will be four weeks. Um, I will discuss the accessories later on, um, not in this video, I'll do that in another video. Here I am doing Pendele Rows, um, I recently switched back from Barbell Rows to Pendele Rows. Um, but here in this video I just want to talk more mainly about the main lift. So, like I said, the main lift, I will be doing 5 sets in every one. That's the same thing I was doing on 5 through 1 plus the additional back down set, so it actually be 6 sets. So, as 5 through 1, still doing 5 sets, that's not changing. But like I said, I'm never going to be going above three reps on any of those sets. It's going to be the same weight on each one. And I believe, like I said, there'll be an, there was no AMRAP set in this video, but I do believe there will be an AMRAP set on week four, uh, which gets me into on five through one. I was basically doing six weeks, then a deload. This will be eight weeks, then a deload. As far as the accessories, they're not really changing up too much. Um, but the progression on them is going to be a little bit different. I don't think I have enough time to really d uh, dive into that too much here, so I'm going to save that for the next video. Um, so let me just wrap up the basically the differences between 5 through 1 and this. So 5 through 1, you had 5 sets. The first 2 sets were very low intensity, kind of like a warm-up, followed by an AMRAP set where you did as many as possible. And then if you want, which is what I did, you could add some back down sets. This, rather than do five sets where two are basically warm-ups, two are back down. All five sets are at the same intensity, which is much higher than any set you got in five through one. So you're basically lifting heavier <clears throat> on each of the sets, followed by the back down set. And I'm hoping that by doing this, it'll enable me to get, to get stronger despite not doing each of the main lifts um, more than once per week. And I forgot to say in the beginning, I did reset my maxes. I uh, took taking 90% before I got into this routine. So the weight will be a little bit lighter in the beginning. But anyway, the workout footage is, ra is wrapping up. If you do want to see my review on the pumpkin pie halo top, that will wrap up the, about that, like the last minute of the video. So stick around for that. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you want me to discuss next besides the accessory exercises. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next clip. All right guys, so if you're still with me, that means you actually want to see if I like this pumpkin pie flavored halo top. So let me show you guys what it looks like. The macros on it are a little bit worse than the other ones. I mean, right now it just looks like orangey, but apparently there's chunks of pumpkin in it. On um, the macros for the whole thing, it's 72 carbs, 12 fat, 20 protein. So it has more carbs than a lot of the other ones. Um, but. Let's see what it actually tastes like. It's ooh, creamy. Oh, wow. Wow. That is very good. I'm not even a huge pumpkin fan, but it's very creamy. There's chunks of like soft pumpkin in it, but it's not too pumpkin-y. Wow, I definitely recommend it. Good job, Hello Top. This actually might be the best flavor. I'm impressed. So that's my review. Try pumpkin halo top if you haven't tried it yet. And uh, that's the video. So if you guys like the video, do me a favor. Please hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel spread. 
Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.